A former Claremont County commissioner admitted to having sex with prostitutes and paying them with drugs. But Archie Wilson will not go to jail for the crime. Nine News reporter Kendall Harold was in the courtroom for his sentencing and explains what Wilson is facing. Archie Wilson won't spend any time in jail for hiring a prostitute last October, taking her to Northern Kentucky hotels and paying her in drugs. This morning, the former Claremont County Commissioner appeared before a Kenton County judge where he pled guilty to soliciting prostitution and drug possession after his attorneys reached a deal with prosecutors. In Kenton County Court today, Archie Wilson admitted he met the prostitutes he hired at more than seven Covington adult clubs he frequently visited. The defendant acknowledges that he came to Kenton County on October 6, 2011, and on prior occasions have paid for and are solicited sexual acts for a fee. Reading a statement about hiring prostitutes and paying them with drugs was just one of the prosecution's requirements for Wilson before agreeing to a plea deal. He read a, a statement of facts into the court and that dealt a lot with the fact that he visited and uh, went to sexually oriented businesses where he would meet women and subsequently uh, meet them for sex shows. The former Claremont County Commissioner was sentenced to 30 days in jail for each count and a $634 fine. But he'll stay out of jail as long as he doesn't have any other convictions before October 16, 2013. He's also being forced to take an HIV test. Wilson was caught when a female inmate at the Claremont County Jail came forward sparking an undercover investigation. That just shows that the drugs and the, the prostitution, those sorts of things that are associated with uh, sexual oriented businesses and we've always taken seriously um, those types of businesses and, and that's why the Kenton County has passed an ordinance regulating them. Wilson had no comment when leaving the courtroom this morning. Kendall Harold, 9 News. All right, thanks a lot, Kendall.